you know, uh, so what I'm speaking about, let me grab the scripture. Revelation chapter 18 and 3 says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Okay, so this is all the nations. Uh, ult op, uh, ultimately, the nations are going to, are forsaking, uh, uh, well, Babylon the Great has all these nations drunk on the philosophy, like I was mentioning. I seen my baby mama pass by. Hey, it is what it is. Um, like I was saying, uh, I remember her in more of uh, a traditional state. I remember when she had more of, of, of values, but as as over the years here in Babylon, you know, she's waxed worse and worse. Meaning that philosophy, that spirit of Babylon has poured onto her. And now, she, of course, now, you know, she's, hey, she's way out there, you know. You know, does she maintain herself in Babylon the Great? Yes, she does. But in regards to, in a spiritual sense, you know, she's far gone from from that uh from those traditional values you know she's now um she's like i said she's um she's she's totally elated elated in this philosophy of babylon the great you know i wouldn't be surprised if, if the bitches buy now uh into origins all that you know like you see it throughout the years i just see her wax worse and worse so babylon the great has made uh, this is an example of what i'm speaking of but made all the nations to drink of, of, of that wine of fornication And it says, and it says, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through abundance of delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. So ultimately, like, if we do not arise and depart, for this is not to risk, we're ultimately going to be consumed here in Babylon the Great. That philosophy is going to uh, pollute us. Well, that's what the scriptures speak about. I don't want to say, y'all, but not Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So, at least you don't uh, come out of her like the scriptures arise ye and depart for this not your rest. You know you would be consumed in this iniquity. You know if you, you know if you don't come out of Babylon the great spiritually, it says. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people." So lock you. It's like Satan really is toying with this, but through the Spirit we're going to continue. We're going to keep rolling. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye may not be partakers of her sin, that ye may receive not of her plagues. Right? Because what are the plagues? All the things that's getting ready to happen. I open up with a prudent man for see the evil and hide themselves. And so, Yahweh uh, Shemeshach, uh, through the Spirit, uh, the Spirit searched all things. Yahweh Shemeshach has given us that ability to see the writing on the wall. Most of these people that are, that's why they're going to get took as if, as if it was a thief in the night. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Reward, reward her even as she has re reward her even as she has rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works in the cup that she filled, filled to her double. And that's what these nations are starting to wake up, uh, wake up out of that stupor that uh, Babylon the Great had uh, had upon them. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to grab uh, scriptures. I'm just rolling the spirit here at this point, you know. Lock you. We're gonna continue to all the adversity. You know, my phone said it was like Satan. Like my phone said the memory was full. It went off. This is like uh, I had a. This is the third time I had to start this up. Second Nehemiah chapter fifteen, and just from the top, it says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth." Save the Lord and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, so the words uh, we're speaking, we're speaking in the ears of our people. Prophecy, the things that is getting ready to come to pass. What's getting, what's getting ready to come to pass? World War Three, uh, all out sedition, uproars of the people, uh, uh, men, spo men spoiling, spoiling each other for the lack of bread, famine, plagues, plagues upon the earth. It says, I'm gonna jump down to six. Says. I'm going to jump down to 5 says Behold, saith the Lord I will bring plagues upon the world The sword, famine, death, and destruction Verse 6 says For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth And her hurtful works are fulfilled It says Therefore saith the Lord I will hold my tongue no more As toucheth her wickedness Which they profanely commit Neither will I suffer them in these things In which they wickedly exercise themselves Behold the innocent and the righteous blood Cried unto me and the souls of the just complain continuously. Okay, so we're crying out to Yah Bashim Shah for all this of the wicked, the wickedness that is promoted here in Babylon the Great. 
So Yahweh Hashem has got to let this, let, uh, let ultimately purge this system. Let me go. Just the spirit. Just the spirit. The land must be purged, purged with blood. KGV. It says. So Esau Edom has to be purged out of the earth because according to Numbers chapter 35 and 33 says, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein, wherein ye are for, for blood. It defiles the land and the land cannot be cleansed of blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay. So ultimately we understand that this devil has shed a countless and, and uh, uh, blood shed upon the earth, upon, upon Babylon the Great, upon the children of Israel. Upon the prop, uh, you know, you know, because uh, Yahweh Shemesh, even though they've committed these atroc atrocities upon uh, our people hundreds of years ago, years ago, uh, Yahweh Shemesh requires requires things from the past, okay? Because judgment is not executed, which is talking about, and this is this covers it all, like in regards to iniquity, in regards to sinning. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and 11 says, Because a sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is full, fully set in them to do evil. So, so this, you know, of course I'm talking about Esau Edom for all the wickedness that he, he's done, you know, because they, and that's what they literally think, right? They commit these atrocities, murders upon our people. They thought they were going to be able to skate off into the sunset and get away with this thing, but now we're in the time where Yah Bashim Al Shai. What did I say? What did I come out with when I started this? Okay, if you bear with me, I'll grab it here through the spirit. This is where we're at with things. This is where we're at with it. So, so we, uh, judgment hasn't hasn't come forth upon Esau. It's it's being brought forth now. This is when the time that we're in. Okay, Obadiah. Chapter 15 says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, and it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall be done unto, unto thy own head. And the scriptures talk about he who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. So this is where the time, we're in the time of the Lord's recompense. Through the Spirit, I'm going to grab that. And he's punishing, he's punishing the heathen. The, God. Well, let me just grab it to the Spirit. For damn this Satan this this Satan oh my lord I'm about to throw this iPad for the Lord just to the spirit because it escaped me what I was going going for so. This devil thought he was going to get away from all this bloodshed that he's he's done upon the nation. That's where I, that's where I'm going. That's right. That now I remember. See, this is spirit. So, Rock chapter three and fifteen says that which has been that which has been is now, and that which is has been already been, and how required that which is past. Okay, and we see that the only way the only way this land can be cleansed is through the shedding of blood. Okay. Because of the bloodshed of, of Israel, it says, "For, for thy controversy of Israel, for all the murders, all the all the oppression, all the wickedness, all the these these wicked counsels, all this oppression, all this." Uh, uh, diminishing uh, all this, uh, all this wickedness that this devil has conspired against us. Well, Yahweh Hashem Yashah, it has a controversy with, with primarily Esau Edom, but along with all the all the other nations that played a role in our destruction. Okay, and I went into that the other day. Hosea chapter four and one says, "Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord hath the controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because he." Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge in Yahweh in the land. 
by swearing, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore, shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelt therein shall languish. Okay, so along with Esau, Edom, and along with our people, all these people that have committed, you know, this it's going to be, we're in an ultimate time of judgment. There shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelt therein shall shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Ye, the fish of the sea, also shall take be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another, for thy people are as they strive with the priest. That's the people strive. That's that's the people uh, being wicked against the men of the Lord. So Yahweh Shemashai has a controversy of Israel, but moreover the elect remnant of Israel. Okay. The punishments that came upon our people, that's for disobedience. But uh, but also, this goddamn devil is con uh, conspiring against the just. Which Yahweh Shemeshai uh, is going to... Uh, let me see if I have that scripture. Man, it's pissing me off. He will rise... Out of his throne with vengeance. I'm just roughly trying to conjure up that that scripture that it's going into. Beautiful. Okay, Psalms chapter 94. I'm gonna just let it ride. See this this wicked. Wicked, wicked, freaking iPad. You know, of course, Esau made him, made it. And this is what this devil does. Everything that he conspires, every uh, every course of action that he takes is ultimately to destroy the nation of Israel. Uh, Psalms chapter ninety four and one says, says, "O O Lord Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself." Lift up thyself to judge the earth, render a reward to the proud, and that's the proud. Who's the proud? Ultimately, you could say that you can use it in general, right? But that's speaking of Esau, Edom. What, what does the scripture say? Because he, he exalts himself as though he is God, he exalts himself, uh, his nest above the heavens. He, he's seeking out through his wicked uh, rulership, this new world order. You know, he's seeking, he's seeking to be as God, and that's that's proud, you know. The, the scriptures say, uh. Will the act? Uh, will the axe boast of itself? Uh, let me see. Do the spirit. And this is this is how we identify this devil once again. Will the axe boast of himself of him that made it? Something like that. Will the axe boast? And who's doing that through the spirit? We already know. Isaiah chapter ten and, and fifteen. This is the mindset of this goddamn devil. Isaiah chapter 10 and 15 says, does the axe, Salakia, that was in, uh, I don't know if that's NLT or, K yeah, it is KGV. Isaiah chapter 10 and 15 says, does the axe boast itself above the person who swings it or the saw boast against the one who uses it as of a rod where to wield the person who lifts it? Let me see to the spirit. Isaiah chapter... So that's the spirit of Esau, Edom. Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah chapter, see, that's the spirit. Yabashi Mashai helped me out. As soon as I opened it up, it went right to it. Okay, so Yabashi Mashai, he's with this right now. Isaiah chapter 10 and 15 says, Shall the axe both boast itself against him that heweth it, wherewith, or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it, as a rod, as if the rod should shake itself against him that lift it up? Or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. Therefore shall the Lord, the Ottawan of hosts, the Lord of armies, right? It says, send among his fat ones leanness and under his glory shall he kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire and his holy one for a flame. And it shall burn and devour his, his thorns and all all his berries in one day and shall consume the glory of his forest and of his fruits and fill both soul and body and they shall be as there were a, when a standard bear fainteth and the rest of the trees I so yup okay so this is going into 
was going into Esau Edom. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10 and 1 says, Going to them that decree and righteous decrees and right grievous, grievousness which they prescribe. You know, that's all the uh, all the wicked decrees that they, that's that Babylon juice, ultimately. But that's ultimately, that's uh, also ultimately unrighteous decrees, right? I'm just trying to uh, trying to go more into the spirit, see what the spirit gives me. So, yeah, so back to, uh, I want to go back to Obadiah. Because that's where we're at. Yahweh Shemesh has declared judgment upon these devils for all the iniquity they conspire. Check this out. Obadiah chapter... Uh, this is ultimately... Uh, us in the, being in the condition we are. Just like, again, able to identify who we are. Obadiah chapter... Two says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. Okay, so that's talking about our people, the nation of Israel. You know, uh, the heathen nations, all the other nations, and just like Esau, Eden, the so called white man, these Asians, these Ishmaelites, these Arabs, right? These Chinese, these, these uh, Japanese, a hey, when it comes to the so-called brown and black man, they look down on us straight up. I work every day. They look that, you know, because they have a certain, uh, a certain riches in their life. They have certain possessions. They're above that. Well, we're, we've been made a proverb uh, among the niche. We have been brought low. Okay. To the spirit. I'll go into that as well. But you know, right, this is what I'm on right now. We've been brought low in a lower condition, you know, uh, and been abased as a people. And these 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 nations have exalted themselves above us, okay? So this is how this, this lets us know who we are. Obadiah chapter 2 says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that are greatly despised. We're clearly the ones despised. Every single day, do some kind of uh, heathen trespass against me, all right? Why? Well, for what? Well, one, because maybe because they sense the spirit of Hamashiach Yahushai. That's one reason. Well, ultimately, be, and, then, and then another major reason is because, you know, hey, I'm a jake, you know? Verse 3 says, The pride that heart had to see now, once again, I was talking about, now it goes back to Esau, the so-called white man. And ultimately, you, ultimately the heathen, this is synonymous uh, in regards to the, the heathen nations as well, because they're, they've taken the spirit of, of Esau, Edom. So, therefore, this pertains to them as well. Oh, but that... This is clear. This is talking about Esau, Edom, but the the heathen are in a, uh, a like uh, a like uh, a similar spirit, right? Uh, a dual. Uh, it feels like duality. They've taken out this. They took the spirit of Esau. So, so this is speaking of amongst our enemies, Esau, Edom, and we use we. You know, this is uh, this is speaking of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, but also the nations are very proud against us. Obadiah chapter three says, "The pride of that heart hath deceived thee." Thou that dwells in the clefts of the rocks. Hey, these these devils, that's what they came out of. That, that's why, you know, if you go into like uh, the the movie Planet of the Apes, everybody knows, you know, like just like regular Jake, uh, regular Jake that don't have no understanding of the scriptures. You know, I remember speaking to one, uh, telling uh, this Jake, oh, one of my friends in the world. I said, you know, like, he's all, I, you know, Esau, Esau Edom, right? Uh, you know who like the white man would be, you know, the devil. He's all, oh, like the you know, like they're like cavemen. He's like, yeah, they're you know, we know in the hood, you know, we you know we know that they're cave, they're they're cave, they're cave beasts. So that's where they came out of the cleft. They came out of the cleft of the rocks, which is the Caucasus Mountains. Okay, the pride of that heart has deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that Satan is heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Thou exalt itself, though. Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and if you go uh, into all their history, right, like north, like what's the, what's the, the animal for America? It's the eagle, right? And then you go into the Nazis, they had an eagle. If you go into the Roman Empire, they had an eagle. Okay, and then you go into the ancient Egyptians, they had an eagle because they're bringing back that spirit. Uh, they, you know, they're they're unoriginal. You know, they ultimately took that from the Egyptians, but. You know, that eagle, you know, that that's that's their symbol, okay? The pride of the heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? That's that's hey, I just seen that video. You guys seen that video where that fucking Edomite I believe to be a he could have been, he could have been a, a northern uh, kingdom as well, you know. But our people are in the spirit of, of these devils, right? And he said, Well, America will never fall and you know, we have the, for the next 20, you know, 20, 30 years, you know, 
uh, we, we, you know, we're going to go on forever and uh, militarily we're the strongest and, you know, America will not fall because, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? He was just going on. It was just like, whoa, like this dude was proud, you know? That's that spirit. The, the, they, you know, they, they say, who shall bring me down to the ground? Verse 4 says, thou shalt exalt thyself as an eagle as though thou set thy nest among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. This how ooh, and I don't know if this is all I'm going to go into Job just to the spirit because we see like always our elders, the apostles that says this goddamn devil. He's he's got the he's got the clutches his hand. He's clutching the earth. He has fully grasped the earth in his the abundance of riches. He's got everybody. He has had had everybody at, at their beckoning call. He has conquered the earth, right? But we can see his greed. That's still not enough. He wants the minds. He wants the souls. He wants to 